stragglers and friends and all we are here we're live playing city skylines where we will be expanding and growing and making all sorts of fun movements forward uh you join me in the tail end of a rainstorm i have a mod enabled where water from rainstorms will pool up so we have some minor minor street flooding happening and it's absolutely fine I'd like to thank Medossi Gaming, Urban Commando, Echo Boy for being here. And yeah, it, we're just going to sort of hang out. Um, recap of last time. Last time we built everything you see here. So we have Mulberry Square Triangle, which is sort of the main starting area. <clears throat> Pardon me. We have Downtown, which is where a lot of the commercial is. And where all the fancy houses are going to go. Uh, we have Smoggy Pollution Pit, which is our industrial zone. We have the coal power plant kind of hanging out on the side. Um, Lanford, Illinois, where Roseanne takes place, which is just kind of a poor, crappy neighborhood. And then finally, we have High District, which is where we're doing all the like green buildings and green city stuff. Um, and these people's backyard is now a pool. <clears throat> Again, pardon me, but looks like they got a much expanded pool in the back. Look at that, that's something special. A little bit of a flood zone here. Alright, um, I'm gonna pause. 
we'll get going. First thing I want to do today is there's a lot of unused space on the quay here or the area, so I'm just gonna put a little like alleyway in here. Oh, I don't want to do that. So this will be a real easy opening for today's episode. I'm gonna run from the edge. If I do there, it will demolish. If I do there, it won't. All right, so I'm just gonna run from the edge of here and run a little. Ideally, I want to snap it to not there, but the one next to it. So I'll snap it here. I know these people will get really mad. That's fine. Cannot build on water, but you can build there. So this will just be a little you know, alleyway. People will be able to drive in here. Um, hopefully they'll find a place to park and we'll repair their houses. What I'm going to do is actually not allow people to build on one square wide areas. I'm just gonna have them build two square wide, because one square wide houses, I'll show you an example. If I zone that, the houses are gonna look pretty awful if they build in. Um, one thing you will notice is that our residential need, residential demand is incredibly high because I'm playing with a mod that makes realistic, uh, what you call it, realistic um, densities for houses. So these houses have, are all single household families. Whereas in the base game, they would have three, four households here. They're all single family homes. Don't have any apartments set up over here. Um, and so it really limits the growth speed with just residential. So we, all it means is we have to zone a lot more residential than we normally would. This duplex has two households, perfect. And this is one very wealthy house. That's a big house, especially compared to the little like beachfront shack next to it. And now we'll start building. All right. Uh, what we need to do for building these houses is find a new spot. What I want to do is just basically build houses along the waterfront. Waterfront housing tends to be very high, uh, have a high land value. So we're going to open terraform tools, get the quay tool, set it on freeform and build one that follows, roughly follows the shoreline and spend all of our money building this thing right up to about there. And then we're gonna, <laughs> since we've killed our power, Um, interestingly, it's not letting me... There it is. And our power across there so that everyone has electricity. Key. Got it. Key. I don't know how to pronounce things. Hey, you're super abandoned. Which is a great look. We could leave this as like the creepy house in the corner. Oh, they have a nice pool. Evergreen residence. So it'll be a creepy abandoned house now. Perfect. I like the little character it brings. All right, here's the one by one square houses and they just look like the scale of the house is all off, especially compared to this big house here. They just don't look like houses. I don't like them. So I'm gonna unzone these squares. It's really just a matter of personal taste. Um, so we're gonna finish our Florida key. Where'd it go? Here we go. I walked walked this all through it earlier. Do like that. Do a little inward, and then run it out a bit. Luckily, they're not too expensive. And so what I'm gonna do next is build a road along here. It'll be just like the fancy. What I want is 5,000 people so I can build a road with trees. My goal is to match. Oh, I'm out of money already. Well, I guess we'll work from the outside in. So, I'm gonna take a small four lane. 
and run it in what do I want to run it let's run it out here let's curve it Actually, I, I know I'm changing my mind a bunch. This is important. There we go. Not enough money. Well, what I can do is speed up time, luckily, so we can sit and let the time go by, wait for the money to get earned. Maybe find a place that doesn't have so bad of a slope. One thing that's happening is that we really don't have the income. We don't have the income to sustain quick growth, so we're going to have to grow pretty slowly. Which is unfortunate, but isn't too big of an issue. I want to like line this up with the middle turn lane. Then that'll have be a dedicated turn lane there. Now the question is, oh they don't make a, what I really want is a 3x2 instead of a 4x4 four four, or 2x2 two two with a turn lane. So I could have an uneven lane so I could run a turn lane in and a turn lane out on Lafayette. But instead, Sophie Walker Street looks fine. Yeah, and so... I think a traffic light would make a lot of sense here. So I'm gonna throw traffic lights there. And this one actually could probably be a stop sign to go either way. Wrong button, sorry. I'm used to, I'm, I'm used to tab as my change time speed. Has Mrs. Miggins moved in yet? I don't know if Mrs. Miggins has moved in. I would be wonderful if you had. Um, so I'm gonna start putting houses in here. So we can get some fancy rich folk to move in. One thing they will need is electricity. So we'll run electricity from there. Oh, from here. And we'll run a water pipe across. I'll probably just Tied in over here somewhere. <clears throat> and then run this around and probably have it go slightly under that road. We'll build a little house here just to connect the power. One thing I want to do is move the electrical, the power lines, so that they go here and go over the road a bit. Again, money is always an issue. I want them slightly lower. I'm very particular about about this kind of thing. Perfect. All right. Um, I don't. To answer your question, I don't think there. I don't think Mrs. Miggins has moved in, and if she has, I should bulldoze her house. What I want is this to go perfectly straight. I need a little bit more money. Now what this will do is this will create a little bit more of an even looking power line that this will then connect. Ideally this will follow the road all the way down. Which will prevent use of this side of the road, which is fine. I want this to be hedged in on that side. We 
Again, I'll just wait for a little bit of a couple seconds. You should name a dupe Ms. Mrs. Miggins. Because they're generally unlucky. Oh, man. Let's get a bulldoze a lot of abandoned houses. Um, I think there's a land value issue that's making all... <laughs> These can stay abandoned. This is funnier to me. Landford is not a great place to live. I don't think it ever will be. I don't know about the real Landford again. If you live in Landford, apologize for insulting your town. And this will connect to right about there. I know residential zone is in very high demand. That's okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep. We have 45. How's that? No, 45. Okay. And now I can get rid of this. This is now redundant. I'm also going to throw power into there. Just so that this looks more professional, I guess. Boom. Oh, it's nighttime. That was hilariously timed. <laughs> right. Lanford's not a pretty place to live. It just exists, and that's kind of its lot in life. All right, now that that's done, I can get rid of this ugly power structure, or these ugly power lines, and really go to town over here, finishing up my housing area. if this will fix itself. Alright, now we continue our residential. Which is difficult in <laughs> at nighttime when I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, maybe we'll just fast forward until it's daytime. Give it a few hours. Meanwhile, we can just sort of make sure that we're doing well on power. We have plenty of power produced. Um, plenty of water and sewage, more than we'd ever need. Uh, we're definitely using more garbage than we're putting in. We're processing it faster, that's good. Healthcare is fine. These people don't have health, but they'll be okay. Um, we could put another fire station in over here once you have the cash. I feel like that really could help with the fire danger problem. Police is all right. Crime rate's five percent and two detained criminals. Um, as for this game looking amazing at night, there are a few visual mods installed. One of which changes the colors and lighting to make it a little more realistic. It's a theme that's called realism, realistic something, a realism something. I'm gonna look it up. It's called Realistic V 1.2, and I forget who the modder is. But if you search for Realistic V 1.2, you'll find it on the workshop. What I should do is make a list of all the mods I'm using, but there's a ton. A bunch of them are just assets. Some of them are really good actual mods. Some of them are things like uh, TMPE, which is Traffic Manager President Edition, I believe, which lets me do things like ban restrict vehicles and restrict parking and clear traffic from an area, disable despawning. You can do lane connectors, which is what I did to create this and what I did to create the yarn ball over here. Use the lane connector to make sure each lane only goes to lanes I want it to. I can change the lane arrows. Make restrictions on how junctions are used. I um, have time traffic lights. And also have manual traffic lights, which is pretty cool. So that's one of my favorite mods. It's a necessary mod. 
I think it's necessary. Um, yeah. I think the creepy house got replaced. It's the wood residence. Autumn, I wonder if there's a Megan's residence. There's a drugstore. Did I restrict parking on Glade Plugin Avenue? I don't think I did. I think I'm gonna restrict parking on the far side of Glade Plugin Avenue. Just because I'm terrible. There we go. You only park on one side of it. All right, let's get through the night and then build on when it's daytime. I should probably turn tweeter off. I'm getting annoyed by it. We can look at the wind turbines. Yeah. All right. You know what? How do I turn off chirp? I don't. It's okay. We have our glorious wind farm. And my parking lot's already full and soggy pollution pit. Let's build. No, demolish too much. Put a parking lot on the corner there. Actually, I changed my mind. Can I not put a parking lot? I can't put one there. Put one there, yay, there we go. People have more parking in Soggy Pollution Pit. A new jog at the park. You mean the parking lot? Low land value, all right. I understand that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put a Japanese garden over in the high district. Right there. It'll help with your land value a bit. And then you guys get, what do you want? Small playground? You already have a small playground in there. Can't really fit a park with trees. Bouncy cat? Oh, a bouncy castle behind the high school. seems like a smart idea. And then, where's the pad? Oh no, all of my pads have been moved. Oh, nope, I know where they are. Landscaping. These poor houses are gonna be turned into a little, nice little concrete path. Just to sort of even this out a bit. Yeah, these one wide things, I'm sorry. You guys are gonna become little sections of concrete. Just make the high school feel a little more filled out, a little more uh, on its own. Bedford High. It's like this on Bedford. Yep. This is Belmont Place. It's weird because the rest of that's Bedford Street, so let's fix that. That should not be all Bedford Street. Holmes. It'll be Sherlock Homie's court. Perfect. And Glade Plugin Avenue is really wonderful. Looks like very few people drive through here. There's High Alley. All right, see if there are any big traffic problems. I think Walnut and Cooper are gonna be my main traffic areas because they're sort of through streets here. Actually, like downtown. Downtown might be converted to commercial at some point, like more so than already is, I mean. Yeah, Glade Plugin, I think that was Elzar's recommendation, or Urban Commandos. One of the two suggested Glade Plugin Avenue. And I love it. Hey, look, there's a little shop here. A busy corner shop. On Crowley Street. Maybe I should actually turn this into, like, a real road. Nah, it's not worth it. I like having the... A little corner shop on this alleyway. A 
But I do want to put... I don't know if pedestrians can use alleyways. It's okay. We'll survive it. Wait for the sun to come up in a bit. And just let the money roll in. It's actually a really smart plan. <laughs> we can just do a little, like... Hang out here. Here's an acceleration button. Not that stops time. We'll just slowly hang out here. With these mods, this game is absolutely pretty. Even without mods, it's a good looking game, but I mean, this makes pretty big difference as to how it looks, I think. And all it does is just change colors and lighting a little bit. It's like, has anyone ever used the uh, like real lighting mod for Crisis? It's kind of along those lines. I can't tell if it's raining or if there's a film grain thing happening. But I disabled the film grain, so I'm gonna go with rain. Yep, because water's starting to pool off, pool up. All right. Sea place is getting flooded by the water. It happens. It's a lot of water it's producing. Like, an obscene amount of water. Looks like it's moving away though. Okay, it seems to have solved itself. Alright, daytime. Max, love Toby, what's up? Welcome to stream. It's all City Skylines today and a whole lot of fun. And right now it's going to be expanding these beautiful residential places. I know I'm building more residential zones, I'm on it. I don't know if Prison Architect will return next Sunday, it's possible it will. I haven't quite solved the performance problems, but it seems to be possibly something to do with the Steam overlay. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's the problem. But that's the best guess I have so far, is that the Steam community and Steam overlay is causing problems in that where it doesn't, where it shouldn't be. Which is fine, like that kind of stuff happens. But. I don't know. So Prison Architect might, might come back and might not. <clears throat> so this will eventually continue down that way. Gonna put... That road there. Have some nice houses and probably just center cut it. Slope too steep. Oh, so I, I have slope limiter on, which is a mod that makes it so you can't build unrealistic sloped roads. Which is fun until you try and build stuff like this. And you have to build cool two-stage sloped roads like that that look horrendous, but work. Um, let's, nope. Extend this piping down. I want to build it there. Perfect. Man, this is actually going pretty well. Mary Young Street. This is going to be beautiful when I put houses on it. And what I should do is extend Lafayette as well. That was medium road? Yeah. I'm just going to extend it sort of up above. And it'll be like my main through road. be a lot of money. I think I should be able to finish it. Not enough money to finish it. Oops. Look at that. Time is suddenly ticking along a lot quicker than it was.
Yay, Meebot figured it out. Good job, Meebot. You get a cookie. It's only, you know, half an hour late. That's okay. So the point of having these two roads like this is I'll be able to build a whole bunch of community in between them. But that right now, they just to create more of a realistic shape and look to the cities along water. And I love building cities along water because you get to do that. You get to have these realistic curved shapes and looks to them. Which to me is very important. I know a lot of people... A lot, I, I can't settle for grids. Grids are incredibly efficient. And they look fine, but I'm not... You know, I'm not playing Skylines for the most efficient city. I'm playing Skylines so I have the city that makes me happy and looks more realistic. Which I understand, you know, pe people might say, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> hey, Akun, what's up? I do have a job. I am just also planning a city. But yeah, uh, what, as I, back to what I was saying before I realized Akun was here, which is great. Definitely one of the best people to hang out on stream with. Um, what I was saying is that I, the efficient grid cities are fine. Like, if you want to have an efficient city that's all grids, that's your call. Uh, I don't want that. Um, and I'm doing real well, Akun. I'm doing great. I am finally settled into a stream schedule. And right now, it's the schedule is playing Skylines. And building these really ridiculous and awesome looking cities. That do stuff like this. Eventually those might go away if I build on the inside. <laughs> Akun is like stream celebrity number one. Alright, look at these pretty houses we're going to have in here. Eventually this will all be high density residential. What I'm going to do... Probably just build a whole district for this waterfront area. <laughs> Dale Hills. No. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. What should I call this waterfront neighborhood area? Any suggestions? Any suggestion will do. Which chat room currently? I'll let you, you guys will figure out a good name for it. I'm sure. Why do you do this? Why why do you build with that break in there in the power? That's not very smart. I eventually want Farmville to expand. Look at a fire. Alright, we have room for commercial expansion, yep. Beautiful residential. I know you don't have power. It's, it's so. Look at this, look how close it is. There's squares. Twitchington. Uh. Call it Coastal Twitchington, how's that? Here, here's a... No, I don't want a temporary fix, I want them to come together. One thing I will do is I'll zone a little bit of commercial... ...in here so that they don't have to go too far to go shopping. It's actually quite important. Home Street, I'm going to change Home Street into... Change it into a 2x2? Two two. I think so. I 
I need to put businesses and stuff. I will change this back, but currently I'm just gonna run it. Oh, but do I, oh no, I changed my mind. I want, I want this to be that, there we go. And then this part will be the two by two. All right. Screw you guys figure it out for now. I'll fix that later. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go through, make sure we have enough of everything again. Yeah, you're fine. We have plenty of electricity, good on water and sewage, good on garbage. Um, I do wanna put sports hall and gymnasium would be 120K, but would be definitely worth it. Um, do you think I need another fire station right here in 12k probably could do with another police station that can reach all of these guys I do want a community school and an institute of creative arts over in high district for the hippies because hippies need love too man Yes, Akuna has joined my Discord, and for those of you who haven't, feel free to stop it and join. It's a lot of fun. Why are, why are you being so dumb? <laughs> Please fix yourselves. Oh, a lot of these are just, oh, I know why, because I made these single rows to try and build a trailer park. Which is quite brilliant, if you ask me. It worked fairly well. Okay. Uh, we have another commercial demand. Landford can get one wide housing spots. Because then it's possible they might get trailers. And that's good for me. I know, underground electrical would save me on this map. Oh, look. These are all unnecessary. I mean, technic technically, this model's underground electrical with the electrical, like the blue area around the cities. But for long distances, you do need above ground cable still, or wires. That's why we have that. All right, this area is starting to look really nice. Um, traffic still looks okay. I'm slightly shocked that traffic's not worse. I think I'm going to upgrade this road. I'm going to build a straight... I'm anticipating this being a problem in the near future. So I'm going to do that. So that you can come in. Um, so you have real good... I think that'll help. And I think, you know, I think this model's that, God, it looks like a dump and the land values are so bad that these people are all gonna move out and become abandoned soon, which I'm not worried about. I Maybe mean, I should scoot Landford down a little bit, but it's, ah, it's supposed to be bad. All right, coastal Twitchington looks good. Any policies that I want to use? No. I think they're fine. Farmville will be expanded eventually. Alright, we need to build more houses. I'm going to build some houses up on the ridge of Twitchington. And I think I'm just going to run a road through here. Get rid of the power lines and run a road straight across. And again, bisect it. The straight connection into there. All right, we are cooking with gas now. We'll complain about the power for a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. 
as soon as people start to move in, we should. I mean, this should be good. <clears throat> the hope is that people will start to actually move in here real soon, and get get the uh, get houses built. Why are these people coming down, Howard? I don't understand this. They're not real bright. Um, I do actually want Campbell Street. There it is. I wanted to do that. Mary Young Street as well. Want the rededicated left turn lanes. It's just something that helps ease your traffic burden later on. But I don't know if I want traffic lights here yet. I'm just gonna start putting stop signs though. So people will have a stop sign coming in. A stop sign there. It will yield to cross traffic. Stop sign. You have a stop sign. You have a light. You don't need anything. All right. Once people build there, we'll have power across, and that's what that's what matters. Um. I know you're all gonna be abandoned at all times. It's fine. Why do you? What's wrong with your land value? You probably need services. All right. I will save up to have 12,000, put in a community school, and then maybe not Institute of Creative Arts, but. I'm gonna put the community school on the main road. Right there, in a second. That should maybe help with land value or not. But now we at least have like a place these people can go and get edumacated. Good. All right, back to expanding residential. I do want to put a more residential through here, so I'm gonna again go back to this. Out of city. Fine, I'll move it. What I'm trying to do is just follow this like light green area. And keep that close to the middle of my road. I want there. Now I wait again. Definitely have a problem with money. I'm not playing to maximize profits, which means it's going to take a lot longer to do anything. Which can be unfortunate, but... I think will survive. Um, is that about halfway? Yep. 3,200 bucks. <laughs> Anyone got anything interesting going on today? Anyone up to anything fun this wonderful Wednesday? Or you all just have a normal, normal kind of day. Nope, normal kind of day. Oh, come on. Let me place it. Thank you. I'm going to do that so this district doesn't touch that. And then start placing some more houses along here. As I mentioned earlier, some of you weren't here, but I mentioned that I do have a mod enabled, um, which tries to set realistic occupancies. So all these are going to be single households. In vanilla, some most of these single family home, homes would be multiple households, but 
duplexes are two households and single family homes are one household. So I do have to build a lot more residential to meet demand. And there are 11 workers and four workers in this like yakisoba noodles. Pharmacy, it's a noodle shop or has a noodle add on it. And so my ratio of residential to commercial and industrial is gonna be significantly higher than it would be in vanilla. So you'll see a much so a much more interesting build in that regard. I'll see a lot, a lot more be put in. And I realized I hadn't finished the inside of Sterling. I don't know if I was gonna let people park or let people build on Sterling. And why Sterling Street and Blackwell Street? What is happening here? Blackwell Street, you, no. You. Just, nope, Blackwell, please. Just all the way to there. How's that? There's gonna be a different one every block, which is weird. All right, now we're gonna set parking restrictions on the outside of Blackwell. Nope. This is a great mod if I can change where people can park. And that house should be demolished soon. I probably should throw water in here, huh? So generally, if we look at the property values map, we'll see that waterfront property is worth a little more. You see that the water produces a much, not a much higher, but a higher base land value. Because land value normally is zero. That's what all this white stuff is. But look, undeveloped land value near the water is mid, low, you know, medium low. And so we use that, take advantage of that to create these high land value areas. Like you see in downtown. You can see that in land value of downtown is 33 dollars per square meter and Lanford is three because it's really terrible and no one wants to live here but there's not much pollution there so I don't know what they're complaining about um, there's a little bit of noise pollution but there's noise pollution downtown just because of its location noise pollution because of all these vehicles so you know you get what you get See the wind there. Electricity's fine. We look at all that. Let's see who's happy. These people are. Oh, they, they haven't even moved in yet. They're very happy. They just don't know it yet. Um, residential happiness is pretty high, except for this person. Oh, because no one lives there. Health is good-ish. Landford's gonna be bad. These people probably want some medical stuff soon. Um, no one's dead. Died yet our levels wind again traffic this is a gonna be a painful intersection because so I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to deal with traffic here but this will be the bad one when traffic becomes heavier especially because there's no other way to this road I really should connect up here but I don't want this to be like a main road or do I what if we make Bedford. All right, I have, a, I have a plan. First things first, make sure it's got free flow across. A couple yields in. Stop signs, what makes it? The yield is for a dead end stop sign for a through road. So you should be a yield then. We will make Bedford a main road. Distance too short. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna work. It's fine. It'll be it'll be okay. This will just be an awful intersection. 
what I could do is make the Laurel inroad a one way. To help reduce traffic stress. I'm gonna <clears throat> pardon me again. Let me do that. There we go. <clears throat> so this road can only turn left. Laurel's one way in only, which will reduce the number of people who have a traffic a stoplight in front of them. Cool. Alright, I have a plan for that. Which I just executed, so I don't know why I'm saying I have a plan, because you know what it is. Okay. Build more houses. Could expand this way, build that way, but I think you just want to start building in neighborhoods near the high district. These guys are going to get a neighborhood through here, I think. I think that's what I want. Yep. Or slightly more in the middle. There is a four lane asymmetrical. Well, there's one in. One plus three, which is weird. I'm just experimenting right now. This would give me like a perfect distribution, but I don't need it to be that big of a road. This would give me room if I decide to expand it in the future, which is perfect. So let's just bring this out there, and then we'll build every other, we'll get a block. We have four nodes. I don't want to be so close to traffic. Maybe I'll just do a single node. There. Hmm. Do I like that or do I want... I want that for slightly higher throughput. Uh, uh, no. I want a more interesting road. I'm gonna do something fun and weird. There we go a little different and then run just yeah how about something like that a little cul-de-sac okay this is brilliant is what this is hopefully you all are enjoying this um so what are people's thoughts so far how are you liking the city? Do you feel like it makes some amount of sense? Are things going well? Do you have suggestions, ideas of ways to make it better? Ideas of anything? Quirky city, yes. This is my plan to build quirky little neighborhoods. Just want to know how chat's doing, since you guys have been kind of quiet. While I do this, uh, let's ignore you for now. Do I want shops or? No, I want houses here. This will be great. I 
I'm only gonna, only gonna put shops and roads that can handle higher traffic, which I guess Campbell Street could. I can make Campbell Street shop. No, I need houses right now. I'll put shops in the corner. Let's see how this goes. That's awesome. I mean, this looks great. This house is hilariously tiny. The Sunset Residence. Is that an outhouse in the back? Oh no, it's just a shed. It's alright. A little bitty shed. We've almost met our residential demand, finally. And then we'll start being commercial and industrial. We should have enough industrial and commercial zone that those bars won't even take up. We'll just see them grow with time. All right, I think next we're gonna save up and start taking care of a little more services. I think we're gonna start with fire and probably leave it, I don't want it on the intersection. But I do want like, maybe not that, maybe over here. Actually, this makes a lot of sense. As long as I can reach the farms, yeah. I'll put fire service here. And this should make people happy. We're close to our next goal of 2,400 people. The, the Colonel's Bunker. All right, well, maybe that'll be the Colonel's house. Um, here it is. Failure residence. Oh, Boomtown. We have all of the fun things. Level three unique buildings. We can recycle, prefer ferries. We have some brand new roads, ferries, water heating, cemeteries, bus depots. All right, first thing we're gonna do is once you finish the fill your residence. Oh, that's too bad. I can do this. We're going to start with a cemetery. We're gonna put the cemetery. I kind of want to put it out with near Lanford, but it would be too nice. So I'm gonna try and tuck it somewhere in the new development. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. I mean, it's a little. A little bit of a dip in the fence there, and that road does look a little unlikely. But I like that. It's the building's also significantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, ferry docks would be a good idea to put on each corner. Not entirely sure. Where I would do that. Uh, we'll we'll get to there. First things first. We need to put a little, a little, a little zoning in here. Not zoning. You know what I mean. Um, districting. Mill district. That's a really good one. It's not going to be mill district. It's going to be failure wood. Oh, that's because the colonel lives there. So he gets failure wood. Yeah, the, the cemetery's got some problems. Oh, it fixed itself. Would you look at that? I mean, it fixed itself-ish. That's oh, failure wood. Um, ah, we don't need disaster preparedness stuff. I don't really need police stuff. I do want to put an Institute of Creative Arts over in near the High District. Probably across the street from the current one. There goes all my money. I'm gonna expand the High District across the street, just a single block, I think. 
Real quick, like. I don't have four hundred dollars. I know. Uh, I can put a theme park in failure wood. That is a thing I can do. When I un once I unlock it. I just realized something really dumb. I didn't do it far enough. I need to do one further because the backside road is glade, not glade plug-in, whatever this avenue is. The not glade plug-in one is one wider. So to get the actual block spacing correctly, I have to pull it up one. Um, wait till we have more money and then rezone it. Now, I won't. So on the outside, that means I can do this. There we go. Perfect. And the high district looks even better than it did before. I'm just gonna trim, trim my district a little bit. Just for aesthetic's sake. Not for any practical reason. Doesn't change the gameplay at this point. <clears throat> Alright, um. Tropical Garden, no. Our theme park's in here. Biodome. Statue of Industry, Statue of Wealth. I'm currently. I don't think these, any of these are gonna be a theme park. But it doesn't hurt to check. Posh Mall. Disaster Memorial, no. The Space Needle, that's important. Official Park. Helicopter Park. Lungs of the City. Oh, they. <laughs> that's copyrighted? Um, don't currently have. Uh, the, the park available. I could build a Space Needle, though. That'd be kind of cool to have a space needle downtown. I don't know where it would fit downtown. I also don't have $115,000, so never mind. Urban Commando, you got new headphones. Does that mean you can hear me now? That's very exciting news. I'm quite proud and happy for you. Proud of and happy for. For those of you who don't know, Urban Commando's headphones exploded recently. I say exploded, they disintegrated. Um, which was funny to me. Maybe not to him though. <clears throat> I got like something in my throat. I'm sorry, very sorry. Here we go, now I'm building a incredibly hilarious and sad little road down here. Daffodil Street. That's really pleasant. This is just like an offshoot of downtown. Oh, you got headphones from upstairs. Got you. I thought you like got new headphones to replace your broken ones. Are these the same broken headphones you've had? There you go. I actually decided I... I keep building things and then deciding I want to redo how I'm doing it. So bear with me while I figure out what I'm doing in this world. I'm trying to just get housing into all the little nooks and crannies and crevices here. The point being that I can then, you know, we can have a nice Sort of realistic looking waterfront. Which if I'd built the alleyway further back we could have had. But instead, what it we can do is build a bicycle path. I think we could be able if, if it would let me actually place Nope.
Snap to grid, please. Nope, don't snap to anything. and find how straight, oh no, how straight this thing is actually fairly straight. Just run up to there. There we go. Now I have a pretty bicycle path that runs through there. Um, nope, I keep pressing that button when I need landscaping. Because I want the tree brush. Oh. I'm going to line this with trees. These are little details I love about this game. <laughs> you don't call the cops in this. Hey man, someone called the cops in that house. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just the mayor. I don't work here. This ain't my problem. It ain't my city, you know what I mean? Wait. Oh, I can't put a tree in there? Alright, look at that. A little tree-lined bicycle path. Best way to check it out is in first. Oh, this is really not that pretty. Well, let's look at it from a distance. That'll be better. Failure would actually look semi realistic. And that's weird. I can imagine this neighborhood in real life. Looks really upbeat. Um. We could. Trams, yeah, metros. Could have ships, not all ferry depots. Monorail, cable car, oh, taxi stands. One thing I could do is set up a bus system. Biofuel buses, no thank you. But I don't really think we're at a point where we need, this is the only place that people wanted, the downtown Popo station. <coughs> Yeah, um, Spokane wasn't necessarily an inspiration, but I can see how we could get sort of a Spokane-y vibe from here. Spokane-y. Also, I just realized this is all unused green space. And Blackwell Street could possibly be a little bigger to accommodate an expansion. Uh, it's fine. I'm not super worried about it. I just want Farmville to grow. That's my big my big complaint right now is that Farmville is not doing anything. That's too bad. Um, ooh, the sun's setting. Coastal twitching. It's not actually coastal, is it? It's like on the river. Let's call it... River view. I'm just all over the place with naming naming schemes. So I looked at this roundabout is significantly more efficient than the normal two way round or two lane roundabout, especially being able to modify which lanes go where, because so I get a really cool looking that people shouldn't get stuck there's only one instance where getting onto the roundabout comes into a lane that's coming across two instances here where those two come into one of the two going across and here where one of the across lanes get to one of the two lanes in and it's pretty efficient oh sweet hash bandicoot has joined discord as well exciting uh, roles, your roles will be set, you guys will default, uh, you and Akun will default to soldiers once I get there, and then um, I'll swap up roles probably. Just as an FYI to those who join Discord from here. Uh, Alright, back to building, what were we doing? With night falling, road placing is going to be a little more difficult. Firehouse. So I'm going to focus on services. 
I know police is fine, but I do want to expand that. I also need more money. We just, we're just gonna have to expand housing. Which means I'll probably expand around failure wood. What I'm gonna do is make a new piece of, I'll buy a new piece of land soon. Build another like little one of these type deals. The really weird, janky kind of angle is going on. And then have it fork. Because everyone loves forking roads. Incredibly inefficient, but looks great. Aw, oh, thanks, Becca. I appreciate it. Alright, this is all going to be commercial. And this side of Campbell Street will probably be... I'll make it all res. And then all residential all this up as well. So I don't, I don't use the fill tool, I don't use the paint tool because I find that the actual grid tool gives me a lot more fine control over where I'm going to place the zoning. And so to me that's more important to have fine control than is to do it quickly. Um, I, I'm definitely in this game specifically detail oriented. Which if you watched the last stream you would know because I'm not, I'm not very slapdash about it. Yep. I know, people are flooding, it's fine. I, what I need is a pumping station. And I need 5,000 people for that. What I could do is just have a water output that just outputs water somewhere. Which could be kind of fun. So you can build like canals and then have water pumped out in those canals. Which is hilarious. Create your own canals for ferries to run through, but you need to be producing more water than you consume to pull that off. Um, failure wood will expand this way. And this avenue is this one. I think I'm gonna... Oh, I should probably turn snapping back on. I'm just gonna run it straight across. Just to annoy the people that just moved in. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, you're actually gonna dezone because you're not gonna. No house is gonna end up staying there. Um, and you're gonna dezone because I don't actually want it to build on Lafayette yet. On Lafayette Avenue. Obviously, here it can because this is a utilized commercial area. Over there. All right, what I do need to do is set traffic rules. Oh, you have stop signs. You need a stop sign and you need a stop sign. And you get a stop sign. <laughs> How to feel like Oprah. Yield, or actually stops the four lane. You yield. I'll be a always stop. You're gonna yield to incoming. You're gonna yield. That road looks weird and I'm not sure why. I'm very confused by it, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Swappa! Yeah, um, one of the one of my favorite things about modding this game is that you can then decide exactly where your stop signs go, exactly who gets what. So Daffodil Street, for example, I mean, maybe this is a one-way, but it's just, this is the only traffic light. Basically, traffic lights ruin everything. This is the rule of this game. 
Um, obviously, there are times where you have to have traffic lights, like at convoluted intersections. Like where Daffodil, Myrtle, and Glade all come in. Morning, MSJN. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Watch some of the uh, exciting fun happen, which right now is... I know there's a flood. It's fine. It's supposed to happen. Um, I'm just expanding residential. I'm not entirely sure where to go next. I could do the back side of that, but I think I'm going to fill in this area with the power lines. But I'm not sure. I'll wait till daytime. I could set it, I could turn off the day-night cycle and play that way, but it would mess up one of the mods, which actually has people go to work in the morning and come home at night. My traffic would be all sorts of wrong. Um, whereas this is a little more... Realistic. I'm trying to go for realism in this series. So Swapa, I've figured out the way to do it that it's pretty but inefficient. You can't you can't have both. It's I think it's impossible. Someone probably has done it, but I personally think it's impossible to have pretty and efficient cities. Um So I've just learned Disaster response. I should put, put, put one of those in somewhere. I've just learned that I'm going to have to go with pretty. Especially with the amount I mod this game, it's going to be difficult to meet all of my requirements for a perfect city. If I'm trying to build it realistic, then that takes precedent over efficient usage. Um, I think I want to add another couple more connector roads. That are gonna be buy don't fine, I'll buy new land. You know what? Since you're bugging me so much to do it. I want more freeway access, so I'll buy this piece. I'm not gonna use it, but There we go, now I can build over here too. I could redo this intersection. <laughs> I forgot I forgot I renamed these Welcome to Town Road. Get out of here, Lane. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I crack myself up. First thing I'm going to do is find a two-lane, one-way highway. That's what I want. One-way road. Slope two. Oh, I have, to, I have to redo the whole intersection. It's fine. I oh, won't worry about that. If you want, so the way to do it efficiently, we don't lose a ton of money. Is like, start just start with the basic income. Like this entire Mulberry Square Triangle is just tax income. It's not super pretty. It's built really on a whim. It sustains tax income, so I can do these long, sweeping, crazy-looking like Riverview districts. Um, and a lot of my building style is very Los Angeles-inspired, sort of big, dense city, and then weird hills. I'm trying to work on the word hill stuff. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to stare off into space for a second. Uh, road building is a lot of fun when you have the tools to actually do it efficiently, like s assign stop signs and assign lights to it and build all the different types of roads. Like being able to have tiny roads like alleyways and paved roads then have you know, a good selection of small roads and then have these, the like, Small heavy roads are excellent, absolutely necessary. And then medium roads are important. Large roads I rarely use. And highways having things like, you know, national roads, which are long distance highways that you can build stuff on. It's cool. Like all of this, it'd be a highway. I want that all to be three lane highways, but I would have to redo. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to redo all of my thingamajigs. Or maybe it will work. Oh, this is the Elzar 360 no scope. And then two lane highways for this. All right. 
I have a slope limiter mod on. Uh, the intersection thing was there when, when the map was built, but because I'm using a slope limiter mod, it doesn't actually function within the confines of the mod because it's a vanilla map. So I'm gonna have to redo, redo it just a little bit. Highway ramp, um, two lane highway, back to highway ramp. Is that slope too steep warning? Because of the mods I'm using. Is that what I want? I want it to connect into here, right? Um, I actually want it to connect. Oh no. There it is. So this one has to go from here. Well, for the back, do that. How oh, is that slope too steep? Just let me build it. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna futz with this a little bit. I got to work. Slope is not too steep. Alright, I think I've solved my... Oh, that's absolutely unnecessarily ugly. There we go. Welcome to Town Road, get out of here lane. Um, so let's make sure this is all. So you can go straight, which puts you that way. Right puts you that way, this way coming off, go that way, coming in, puts you into town. Perfect, nailed it. Right, it's very, it's, with, with the mods I have, this game's a little fiddly. Um, one thing I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna alt tab out, I'm gonna expand chat window, cause it's sort of, I wanna be able to read further back. There we go, got it, now I've got more chat yeah so I've renamed a lot of roads um, Swapa you might you know Elzar 760 gets his Elzar 360 no scope roundabout of course um, and I'm oh I have to I have to redo this sorry you're gonna redo the yarn ball that looks good um I actually only want the inner lane to go through. I'm starting to get some weird audio lag. I think it'll be fine. That seems to be fine. There we go. Yeah, so, uh, this is, uh, I think it's Transport Manager or something manager, that's the present edition. It lets you change lights and lanes and all sorts of stuff. So it's a little, it can be a little intimidating to use, but it's incredibly necessary for traffic management. Oh, traffic manager, that's it. Um, and so I can do things like make sure that there's a stop sign there, but only for that traffic. I don't know why big semi truck uses that side lane. I should probably prevent that, but it's fine. Another abandoned house. 
Oh god, I forgot what we were doing. Someone, oh, that's right. I figured it out now. Um, building in here somehow. I think I'm gonna build this. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna redo this, these electrical wires. Gonna do that. I hope someone builds there, and then I should have electricity into this line, which is gonna follow this road here. Nice, Becco. Thanks for the traffic manager mod. Uh, you can manually set the lights and and uh, or set them on a timer if you so choose. I'm about to remove power to whole areas of my city real quick. I want to keep power out of this inside area, so... Uh, you will be my power mover, hopefully. These poor people. Houses entirely that have provided me with power. Alright. Once those houses build, then I'm going to redo my power distribution. So I basically want that, and then I want to get rid of this interior line. Again, the goal is to make these above ground things as realistic as possible. I'll eventually fill this all in with commercial and get rid of the power lines, but for now they're an unfortunately necessary evil. While I build this section. I think this section will quite simply be this road. I don't want them to connect. Boom. Alright, what do I... Who do you connect to? I think I'm just going to connect you into here, if I can. Yeah. You know what, we'll just, we'll just do it from here. I changed my mind about everything I just did. There we go. Pedestrians should be able to get pedestrian access there. Make sure you're watered, and then we'll put some houses in here. Right next to the fire station. It's not many houses, it's like five or six people, but it's going to make a difference when all is said and done. Um, and. I think I'm gonna put houses across Holm Street just to give me a little more, a little, a few more options. Cool. And now I can dezone all of that and bulldoze that because those are now within the new power area. These power lines are redundant, but they look good, so I'm not going to get rid of them. It's important to me to not get rid of things that look good, even if they are redundant. I'm 
Okay, still expanding housing. Um, I think I'm going to work on the area between Lafayette and Holmes. Maybe just build a series of sort of off-grids. I think in here I'm going to use straight roads only and build... Yeah, some, I call them semi-gridded areas. Um, first I need a grid axis. I guess I do different ones. Let's do it here. So we're gonna do two, a two grid wide, and then a two, and then up, and then yeah, we'll do two by two by two blocks. How's that? That ought to work. Two. I know I said I don't like building grids, but this is actually going to be very, what's the word, therapeutic, I guess? Slope too steep, but we'll just leave it then. What we can do is build that there. Oh, nope, can't build that there, it looks terrible. If we do that, how far before it looks? Ugly. Um, that looks fine. I'll settle for that. Yeah, I'll take that. Cathartic. I like. Yeah, that's what this is. This game is very cathartic. joint you can join there this is all going to be uh, residential Fawn Street that'll be Greenway perfect um, the grid has some empty spots we'll fill those in I think I'm just gonna fill those in with little alleys. Just little end roads, nothing fancy. It's actually what I could do with this, I don't need to bulldoze. Perfect. It looks even less janky now. Um, I do wanna put a little alley in here. Or I could leave it. Oh, that looks so nice though, but I want, maybe, I don't want a full size road. Maybe I'll get a little. Ah, it just looks too ghetto. I'm gonna leave it and put a park in there. Straight line road. Boom. That's a kind of a steep looking road there, but it should be okay. All right. Find a small playground or, oh, it's not, I want it to fit. I want it to fit so bad. Build a small park in the corner on the slope. Looks all right. And now we do very careful application of homes. I actually don't want it going too far down. Yeah, I want that. I'm gonna limit where the homes can be a little bit so they don't get too much weirdness going on. Because having these slopes like this, you can get some real weird looking Home situations. Oh, I forgot to do roads. Not do roads, obviously there are roads here, but I forgot to assign right-of-ways, etc. 
So let's do that first. Um, I don't think any of these are going to need lights. These will have stop signs, though, which seems for this big of a road like not that much, but it's fine. Um, you'll just have a simple yield. You'll um, stop. And you will yield at the end. I don't want stop signs. I'm very... I want good traffic flow. I'll do... In this neighborhood, all Holly Street would just have yields. So it's a tiny little alleyway. You'll have right of way coming through. Right of way should move, always move around. This one... Have a four-way stop in the middle. Though. No, it's fine. If I overthink it, I'll just overcomplicate the whole situation. I gotta make sure I close that. Get the grid back. And then we're back to plopping in residential zones. One thing I was interested in with this game would was to at some point do a um, oh no that's awful do like a shared save of Skylines I feel like that would be a lot of fun I just need to find people who are into that it's kind of an odd game to do like a shared save of but I think it could work pretty well they have changed my mind. No, I haven't changed my mind. I, we'll let it be. I was going to put commercial in these side sections, like a little store there. But this will be a little more suburban, a little less neighborhood-like. Making sure my water's not getting too close. These are, this is a little, like, commercial area. I'll put some shops over here. This will be our little commercial area where you can go to the store. Oh, I think this should stay... I could put little shops there, but I like how it sits empty like that. There's something big going into Pleasant Residence. It looks kind of nice. It looks quite pleasant. <laughs> You're welcome. You're all very welcome. I don't know who Sophie Walker is, but she's got her own street. Looks like I've met my residential demand for now. Oh, but I should probably figure out a police station. 12K, well, let's speed up time. I do need to build a second police station anyway, so let's put one over here, near this downtown area. Probably somewhere on Sophie Walker. Sing right about there. Put some shops there. <laughs> Raptor Jesus Lane. I don't know where to put Raptor Jesus Lane. All right, where should Raptor Jesus Lane go? I don't want to replace Lafayette, because I like Lafayette. Forest Street doesn't know how to be a road. That's not how road, oh, I see. Could you not Forest Street? Could you go here? Boom. Belmont Street will just be like that. Got it. Raptor Jesus Lane. Over here. Should call it Nathan Lane. Because he is hilarious. 
Oh, I see a problem with my zoning. Um, I really don't want houses on the corner of Lafayette. It's fine. Sometimes houses sneak in where a commercial should be, but we will survive. I won't make a big fuss about it. Oh, look how happy everyone is. Actually, look how happy everyone except these people are. It's because they're moving in. Janet Street Porter. Oh, I like that. Julie Street, I agree. So I have Lafayette and Hamilton Street. All I need is a Washington Street. Mary Young, Mary Young Street is incredibly fun. I would assume that would be fun to drive. Alright. Um, I think I'm just going to keep working on expansions. How are we doing? We still, we still just need more residential to make more tax income. Um, I'm going to build an, on a new grid. I'm going to build on, I think... This grid will be... This is the one by two? Yeah. Oh, God, this is awful. Oh, no, I'm out of money again. The thing happened where I ran out of cash. Start with the skeleton. I still love Janet's free porter. There we go. It looks awkward, but it should be fine. <laughs> Emphasis on the should part of that. I'm sort of surprised I probably don't. Jan uh, Janet Street Porter, the name's familiar. I actually don't know who that is. The name's very familiar. Money, as always. Slope is too steep. I wonder if there's any way to. There we go. Perfect. So it has water. Now all we do is zone in a billion more houses. And then we do intersections again. We're gonna follow the same basic pattern I did for the others. Slide is making it hard to follow exactly which which things go where. It's very specific, Jack. Good job. Um, making it hard to figure out exactly where the the zoning areas are. I can't so that's really odd. I'll just leave them. Hopefully that sorts itself out. Got it. Janet Street Porter. British journalist. 
The James, the James, the name has definitely come up. The James has come up. Oh, um, where the name has come up, I couldn't tell you. I just know I've heard it before. Alright, we now have like an actual slightly interesting looking new neighborhood to play with. Haven't named it yet. I'm not sure what kind of neighborhood it'll be. But it exists and soon will give me delicious, delicious tax income. That's where, yeah, I saw her on QI. Janet Street Porter was on QI. I can guarantee that's where I saw her. Um, as someone who watches a lot of British TV. Which some might be surprised by. Speed limit of 100 seems excessive. I think I might reduce this. Oh no, I didn't mean 10. I didn't realize I was selecting. Let's make it 80 across the board. Let's make the roundabout speed limit 80 because that seems slightly safer. And let's make this highway 80 as well. There we go. Empire, Empire Way just sounds so fantastic. <laughs> and Dirty Smog Way sounds less. Fantastic. Alright, um, High District, I want to change your policies. I want you to recycle, maybe smoking ban, recreation, oh no smoking ban because recreational use of marijuana. Recycle plastic, how's that? Land value just decreased, I think because they're smoking weed, but it's okay. We are condoning the recreational use of marijuana in this district. That's why it's called the High District. Fill your wood, your policies. Um, I don't know. I don't know if any of these really apply to fill your wood. Smoke detector distribution, but I don't really want to spend the money on that. So I'll be fine. Riverview, I'm going to create a new district. Or maybe this will all be ri no everything inside, everything inside of Lafayette will be Riverview. How's that? That makes a lot of sense to me. Since Lafayette is like the dividing line between this and Farmville, everything, yeah, inside Lafayette will be Riverview. Then just keep Lafayette out of it. Boom. Akuna Matata Lane. Um, how about Julie Street will be Akuna, Akuna... Oh no, I pressed the button accidentally. It's fine. No one panic. It's all one word. Akuna Matata Lane. There we go. Anyone else want a street? Janet Street Porter will be Fawn Street. It's a little offshoot. Look at all the happy people living on Janet Street Porter. Like this guy, Heather Cook. Where are you headed, Heather? Going to shop downtown. It's a long drive to shop downtown. We can be Heather. Oh, that's all white because I had the thing open. Um, yes, yeah, so something fun we can do is if we click on a car, we can see Sterling Mason is leaving the city. No, someone. There we go. This person, this electric car, we can follow them. And see where they go. So this is a great way to check 
again, I think this is part of the first person camera mod, possibly, or some other mod. This is a great way to check sort of how your traffic flow is by following and see how people do and where they go. So we can watch the traffic flow as they go about the roundabout, change lanes, go down Glade Plug and Avenue through the traffic. Why is there a traffic light there? Oh, this, that, whatever intersection that was, was horrendous. Oh no, I'm lost. This is a terrible intersection. This should not be doing what it's doing. I have a solution. Let's... You can only go out there. That will help. And now, yeah. So now you don't need a stop sign there because you just can run through. So that traffic should never cross. And then here you can come in if you need to. So if you need to get through here, you can take the first exit and then come in and through, or go through here. I could make this a one-way road. That would be very smart. Make this sort of like a triangle with a roundabout. <laughs> the truck driver needs to not flip his truck. I do agree. I know I'm late in the response to that one, but I'm solving problems. Why does this heavy truck take this road? Where are you going? No, heavy truck traffic doesn't get to go here. There we go. Exit only. But I am going to make Blackwell Street a two by two. Um, should I make it a highway? No, I want a two by two. I'll do it a normal, normal two by two. <laughs> um, that's the wrong one. Where is two by two? Here we go. To allow heavier traffic to get in. There we go, I think this works. Let me do all of the stop signs still there, stop signs still there, stop signs still there. All right. You can go both ways there. Oh no, this is incorrect. Lane manager. You can only go straight. Perfect. And all the heavy trucks are going down that way. I think I'm going to dissuade heavy trucks from using residential roads. However, they're going to go up. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're taking the first exit on the roundabout, which doesn't actually... Ugh. Where are you headed? Are you just going through? And you're going up here and out again. Just to go down this road. Because you don't want to, oh, okay, I do need a connecting street or, no. Square, let's look at zones. Triangle, I'm gonna actually undo a lot of this from Mulberry Square. This road shouldn't be part of Mulberry Square Triangle. I'm going to try and ban heavy traffic from the triangle. That's my next step. And this will... These guys will be undistricted. 
Oh, I could be downtown. <laughs> and these overground power poles are unnecessary, but I kind of like the look. I think I do want to keep them. They have kind of a cool aesthetic. Like I live in a city that has a bunch of these old power lines that are now houses, but they still have the power lines in the backyards of like these huge power pylons in the backyards of all the houses. Which is awesome. Alright. We'll yield. Oh, I see I see what's happening here. Things are incorrect. You get to go to that lane only. Inside lane only. I think these guys are respecting their correct correct lanes. Inside lane only. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it manually just so that there's no confusion. There we go, you go there. You can also go across the LZR 360 no scope. Should be 760, but you know. And then the rest is correct. Oh, I'll just finish it. Um, I don't think anyone is gonna be using that that inside line. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, gaming Scott, how how does one build roads that don't make traffic terrible? Lots of mods and lots of fiddling. That's the answer. Um, for example, I'm spending a good chunk of time making sure that all of these lanes go to the correct lanes and no other lanes. So... This is all about fiddling right now. Definitely not the most exciting thing, but very important. What I should do is actually make it so that this lane, you can't go straight. The only lane that goes straight is the inside lane. Otherwise, what's the point of having an inside lane? This is a weird exception, because there's no way for it to come in. Yeah, the uh, lane selection thing is a mod. I have a bunch of other mods that change like traffic flow, how cars work, how people work, how housing works, um, how water works, that rain creates water puddles. Uh, there's, there's a lot of, <laughs> there are a lot of mods going. I don't have them all listed. I should have them listed in a description um, but I don't, and I don't know if we'll be bothered to do so. But that's something that will happen in the future at some point. Um, things are actually looking real good right now. I think the backside of Howard Street is going to get... some houses and I'm doing that so they don't build on Holmes Street or Campbell Street to try and ease traffic flow this pretty I know that so the initial roundabout is gonna be a big pain to do it's gonna be a lot of work to keep this maintained as I change it, but it's it's sort of the essential artery of traffic flow in the city. That's where every piece of traffic, <clears throat> excuse me, every piece of traffic comes into and out of the city through this roundabout. So it's very important um, that it is fiddled with correctly. Why are, why are no one using the parking lots out here? I guess I, that makes sense. I could probably build near the parking lots and that would help. I'm gonna just expand my industry out here a bit. 
case industry ever needs to expand. Eventually it'll get to Farmville, but that's not really what I'm worried about right now. I haven't even filled the original soggy, smoggy pollution pit, which now that I think of it should definitely include Alan Davies Street. <laughs> I tried to forgot. Uh, <laughs> forgot I made Alan Davies Street. Oh, it's like leaving um, what you call it Easter eggs for yourself in the future. Past Snaggles is real good at leaving Easter eggs for future Snaggles to find. What an abandoned house? That's too bad. In failure would no less. I just don't get why this road is hella ghetto. Oh well. Um, next, we're sort of just, right now we're doing real well. We don't have any problems with death care. We don't really have any problems with, oh, average health is declining. So I think I will put a medical center over, where, I put the, where the police and fire are over here. Near Lafayette. I'm just gonna tuck it in here. Um, that's disaster rescue fire. Have police. We have plenty of high school capacity. We could do with another elementary school out here. I think Riverview is gonna get one. I want up against one of these side roads, but probably. There's no through roads, so it'll be difficult for them to get there. Maybe I'll build it. I have a, all right. What I want to do is put in a connecting road like that. And then dezone that. And then put in an elementary school. Right there, perfect. Help educate these fools. Right. No abandoned house is truly abandoned. It's just where all the ladies live. Why is your land value so bad? Because no one lives there. I understand why your land value is bad, because there's a ton of people here. That's all good. I don't know why I pressed the disaster button. There's no incoming disasters. And if there were, there's really nothing I can do about it. All we can do is grow the population of Streamville. I'm like the crazy old cat lady who lived here at one point. That looks really good abandoned. Linden residence, Dean residence. That's right, we're gonna watch someone drive into the city. This game's good at getting people distracted. By people, I mean me. Leaving the city, don't care. What are you doing? Scarlet Graham Hansen, leaving the city. Why are none of you going somewhere? I wanna watch someone full drive in. Um, Failure Word's theme right now is, it doesn't really have a theme. Failure Word just sort of exists it will eventually be a little more um, fleshed out but for now it doesn't have a theme let's follow this van it's coming from Springwood doing some imports Right. This is fun. Hopefully this van doesn't like take a left here, because that would annoy the hell out of me. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so failure would is just gonna be like a generic neighborhood that's sort of fun and happy and everyone loves. Um I'm very excited for failure wood. Good parking job. Oh, another abandoned house. Sorry, not abandoned. Another crazy cat lady mansion. 
One adult and one senior live in the Crest Residence. Nice. Failure Wood is sort of pretty and aesthetic. And also on fire. There, that's his theme. Constantly on fire. Bridge traffic will get bad. That's a guarantee that bridge traffic will get bad. Because the only... Again, it's the main artery between the freeway and this entire section. So if I could find a freeway over here to connect it to, which there isn't one, eventually, eventually I want to pull off of the freeway that's up above and bring it into here. So I'll have to start expanding that way. Or I could start building ferries, which I've never used before. Ferry depot, I need more money. Ferry stop. A ferry pier, ferry pathway. So I could build a ferry pier here. I start with the depot. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll build a ferry route that goes from sort of near downtown to Failure Wood or the High District and then bounces sort of along here and has a couple stops. Those middle streets look a bit like stick figures. I don't know which streets are you talking about? <laughs> These ones. Or these ones. Oh, and failure wood. Yeah, I got you. Um, I can kind of see that. That's fun. Failure Wood is a fantastic place. It's where the graveyard is, the cemetery. It's the most important part. The Failure Wood is the cemetery. In Riverview. I still have houses being built, which makes me happy. We're getting to a point where expansion is slowed only by demand and we don't have to build anymore. Um. But I will eventually need to expand Glade Plugin Avenue. I just realized this is an uncontrolled intersection, and that is going to be a problem. Again, that's not. I would get confused because this goes over there. If I put this here, there we go, that's easier. No, I'll just put a light in there. Do I need any more lights? I think this road that goes through is going to be upgraded to a 2x2. Two two, which means this will actually get a traffic light, as will this intersection. You'll have a stop sign. And you'll be able to go through. Perfect. Everything is awesome. But now I'll slow down traffic. Oh good, something's on fire again. But it's not in Failure Wood, it's up here in Riverview. Alright, I don't know what the next build will be. Might expand the backside of Failure Wood. I think it's going to be commercial. Um... Farmville. If I keep pressing disasters, I don't mean to. So this is all farmland, so I can't build. I actually should demolish this side of High District because I shouldn't be building in the farmland. Um, what I will do is expand Farmville to sort of roughly cover all of the, the farmland it's going to be a part of. So let's not build over in Farmville. Let's, let's build over here. Let's build in this happy section. I'm going to want to build a main road off of somewhere. Myrtle, perhaps? Ex 
expand Myrtle or make Bedford more of a... Ah, uh, Bedford doesn't go all the way through, though. If it went all the way through, I'd make it a through road. I know, Failure Road Hills featuring Stegoland will be up here. Sort of in this area. Which I guess I have made part of. I'll just whoop, cut that out real quick. So it'll be Stegoland over there. Or Failure Road Hills featuring Stegoland. All right. A dead person's waiting for transport. I don't understand why land value is over here. How, how are land values low? Look at this. They're not low, they're very high. Oh well, it's fine. We'll sort it out. Um, first things first, we're gonna build Expand Myrtle with just a block. No, give me a block. I'll do it too. And then I'm going to take the zone tool. And zone it commercial. I'm actually going to zone this commercial as well. And then build a road through. It's gonna be a big, happy commercial area. Oh no, I did this wrong. Um, you will not be Myrtle Street, you'll go there, Cypress. Lake Street will go there. Got it. Important, very important to do that. The <laughs> land is literally killing the people who live it. It's not the land, it's just sometimes Things go bad. Uh, we're gonna build. I think we're gonna do this. Oh, should probably, you know, put water over here. I hear people like water. Oh, this will be resident. What am I doing? <laughs> Everything's gone wrong. Ron. All right, I've just lost the ability to speak as well. Where does this end? You are now houses. Except for you. I can put a road through there eventually. I will also water all of this. and put in another cemetery. Oh, it fits perfectly. Everything I've ever wanted in life has finally come true. I'm going to stop sign there. Um, this yield to that. This is going to become A light, and then I'm going to upgrade, if I can, this road. I've dedicated left turn. That looks janky as all get up. There we go. Double cross, dedicated left turn. Nope, I, I'm going back to the old. That's not what I want. That's, that just looks better. That makes me happier. And we're building more of this new thing. I don't know what to call it. Oh, we'll, we'll see what the... Coleridge Square, that's fine. It is now, <laughs> welcome to Coleridge Square. The most least Interesting named place in the world. Now we're just gonna sort of build 
still have one higher than I wanted. I'm gonna build out. <laughs> Mole Ridge. Why not call it Mole Ridge? Oh, let me learn how to not capitalize everything. Typey typey, Mole Ridge. Nailed it. Thank you, Urban Commando. I'm gonna fix my grid by having that sort of janky looking thing. I like this. I like that it's not perfectly even. That there is... There's different sort of ways to do this. Um, I want it to be like lined up but not perfect. There we go. people won't have the best time. I was like, why? Oh, not enough money. That's the best reason not to be able to build anything. And now we need money for water. The most important utility. Oh, if I could... Alright. If you could lose water or power, what would you pick? Vecco, can you set up a straw pole? I'm curious. And if no one wants straw pole, then that's fine. But if you had to lose water or power, which would you lose? That's my big question to people. And if Vecco doesn't set up a straw pole, then I'm not worried about it. Cannibal Evans Street? How about Cannibal Evans Street? That's much more exciting. Belmont Street is incorrect. Belmont Street, you don't... No, stop it. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Adam Street also... No, you go to there. And the street goes to there. And... Oh, no. Every... Sometimes these auto street things are just really dumb. Victoria Adams. Perfect. Um, let's... We have water? Yes, now... Let's expand Mole Ridge to be the correct size. Oh, that's a terrible looking corner. Let's just do all that. And then we'll just fill it with happy people. So I've turned to doing grids for one very specific reason, and that's to add variety. Like, I like, I don't like grids as the only way to build. I say that all the time, but I do think grids can be attractive if they're done in sort of a stylish and less square manner and that's this is what I mean by that is that it's got a I mean, that's janky but this is a really smooth looking curve to it which I like there we go and pretty soon we'll have even more houses in the beautiful neighborhood of Mole Ridge. I do want there to be an outroad, but I want it to be only an outroad. Street. And then I'm just going to do... Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's the opposite of what I wanted. 
Those roads will have stop signs there. Stop yield. Um, you'll stop. And you will yield. And these will all be uncontrolled. Perfect. I don't need those to be controlled roads anyway. That is just fine by me. Huh. It doesn't look like this. Yeah, straw pull. It's, it's okay. We don't need a straw pull. We've had one response, which is power. So I say power. Power wins. My pull of two people have answered. <laughs> Oh, this is weird. This highway doesn't have any lights on it, so it looks like the industry is completely disconnected. Oh, let's find a let's find a pretty shot. Let's find a real pretty looking. Here we go. There we go. That is just gorgeous. We can line up a view down the bridge in the distance. Sorry, I'm just doing glamour shots real quick, so you can see the full beauty of this game at night when it's been heavily modded with the wind turbines in the distance. This is just... Oh, and the entire part of... Let's just, you know, while we're looking at it... Is that the high school? Oh no. Bedford High is on fire. It's okay, the fire department's here. They'll... They'll solve it. They'll be fine. Oh, bouncy castle park behind it. Hey, people have not been complaining about land value recently. What are people complaining about? Nothing. Oh, look at everything is perfect for once. Oh, I like that. We did it. Everything is perfect. Sorry, I said snap to nothing, please. Just gonna run a nice you got a nice bike path across here. Right to there. Give us some light. Then we'll just throw some trees in, you know. Because everyone likes trees. Nice. Got a new pole. I like that. Yeah, the river water looks great. This says actual riv water physics. I'm gonna run this path. To there. And then turn snapping back on. So I have an entire riverfront bike path. So people can ride their bicycle on the riverfront. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, the building that was on fire is currently no longer on fire, which is perfect. But it's very bright. It has Mulberry Square Triangle lit overlaid on top. Um... What should we do for Mulberry Square Triangle? I want it to be a nice neighborhood. Maybe smoking ban? No. Uh, should they recycle plastic? Yeah. And we're going to slightly reduce tax income for happiness. By happiness, I mean low pollution. <laughs> Poor smoggy pollution pit. Let's actually take a look at our pollution. That's not bad at all. Look at this. The 
because people are barely polluted and there's no one living over here, so we're fine. I'm not pulling from polluted groundwater either. See, no pollution reaching my water pump. I could build a canal. I want to do all sorts of fun things, but I also just want to look at how pretty it is. Leisure. Oh yeah. I guess Riverview could use a little more leisure. But they're fine. Terrain height map. I love all the little, the different things you can have. No escape routes, that's fine. No radio coverage. Here's currently all of the traffic. You can see it all coming in. This all distributes through this main road, which is not ideal. Maybe I'll upgrade this road. Maybe I'll make this more of a, make Bedford more of an actual usable road. Or it's fine. I guess traffic's not so bad, is it? No, the real traffic problems are here, which is all out traffic. I guess if it's only outbound, I don't need a light there. I'll probably help clear up traffic. You will have a stop sign, though. That should clear up my traffic problems there, so that the people going down Glade Plug-In don't have to stop. What more do we do? Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we've accomplished a lot today. Putting a lot of work. I'm pretty comfortable calling this a stream. I know I appreciate everyone sticking around. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next City Skyline stream will be Wednesday. Friday stream still up in the air. I don't know if there will be one. If there is, it'll either be like American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, Elite Dangerous, some sort of truck sim thing. And then Sunday stream is slated, currently slated to still be Prison Architect, but it might change if I can't get Prison Architect to work. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone coming out to watch. Thank you so much, especially those who are chatting, MSJN, Vecco, Akun Reach, Gaming Scott. Um, WoW's stream is a maybe, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Vecco Boy will be streaming on his Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash something an urban commando suggests need for speed hot pursuit i will not stream need for speed hot pursuit and i'm not sorry about that um but yeah i'm very excited to not stream need for speed hot pursuit maybe forza 7 we'll see it all depends on how i feel but yeah um that'll be it for today Thank you everyone so much for coming by. I will upload this to YouTube. So, and thank you if you have watched this on YouTube. Thank you for sticking through two and a half hours. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everyone at the next stream, which should be Friday and possibly a Sunday as well. Thanks everyone for coming by. You guys are really the best and you, this community makes me very happy to stream. Hope everyone has a wonderful night and or good morning, depending where you are. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.